here are some exciting coming attractions from Paramount. They're nice. Who? Them. Who? Oh. Think mine will be as nice as yours someday? Touch me with your white words and your dead hands. I beg your pardon? Now, before I freeze. That'll be enough! And become one of you. Dinky! You interrupted me. Jeez, Dinky. God, you scared me. You scare everybody. I hereby proclaim this Roxy Carmichael week. That Roxy Carmichael's a damn good businesswoman. She's famous. What's she famous for? Well, it's just not every day that a legend returns to Clyde. Dinky, what would make you lock yourself in Roxy Carmichael's room and get into her bed? Be closer to her. She's coming home, you know. That was a $32 sweater, Missy, and you dyed it black, didn't you? It's just that I feel like we adopted a baby from Mars or something. She just is not like us at all. We just don't fit. It happens. I just can't wait to see whether Roxy's been able to keep her weight down. She developed so fast. Too fast, if you ask me. Kidding about Dinky, right? Well, she's got a good sense of humor. Well, so does Ronnie Dangerfield, but I wouldn't marry him. Do you think I should go blonde? Roxy Carmichael always took a chance. Go for it. <laughs> You'll also see pictures of her beloved dog, Bonkers. She loved that dog. I mean, she used to ride it. It was a big dog. My real mother wants me back, and I have to go with her. Who's her mom? She says her mother's Roxy Carmichael. She thinks Roxy is her mother? Winona Ryder. God, I want to kiss you so bad right now, Dinky. It's good to want things. Jeff Daniels. It's a strange kid. She's here! Welcome home, Roxy Carmichael. I caught her trying to barbed wire her room last week. It isn't funny, Les. Coming this April to video stores everywhere. Pleased to bring you our feature presentation.
what's the matter with you? We got white meat, we got dark meat, we got meat pulled from the grills of semis. Hey, baby, we're a judge chicken. Will you pay us? And we choke our chickens. Come on, Calvin, how much longer? Ten minutes. I want ten minutes work on everyone. Come on, I need more birds here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's got the slaw? Come on, right there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, I got it. Right back in the fridge. Hi, Miss Lansky. Hi. Usual? Yes, please. One grilled bird of coleslaw and an iced tea. So, vacation almost over, huh? Yeah, I can't wait to get back to school. Back to school? Oh, well, for the diving team. I've been working out. Good, for the Nancy around the pool. Yep, and in your government class, too. That's just that's not for a day, So I, I guess I'll see you around school. Yes. See you in school. Bye, Wayne. Bye. Hey, these are good. These are good. Jasper, out. What? What, man? What? Hey, bud. Is that good for you, too? Why are we stopping? Oh, not Jerome Coulter. Terry! I just have to give him something, that's all. The guy's a vampire. You said so yourself. Don't worry. Larry, give me a hand here, man. And I'm never gonna understand women. You know what? I don't want to understand them. I just want them nude and submissive. Hey, that's my sister you're perving. Oh, what? Yeah. Per my my sister. Sister. Girl swim is over here. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Bye, ladies. Yes. Yeah, Excuse me. Take a good look. Because this is the last time this year the boys' team and the girls' class will meet at the same time. All right, listen up. We are still fixing the girls' showers, so today we'll be using the boys' showers. Oh, babies! <laughs> In shift. Ladies, hit the water. Let's go. All right, listen up, okay? Here's the teams for the new coach. Three stylers, Conrad, Johnson, Kramer, Hamilton. Butterfly, Tyrell, Stein, Alonzo, and Krantz. Formation at the end of the pool. Divers, Coulter, Dorf, Ramos, and Flanagan. Up on the board. Backstrokers, Waldstein. <laughs> Still Waldstein, sir. Whatever. Davini, Jones, Hopkins, start stretching. The rest of you kids better look next time. Coach, um... Why backstroke? I'm a diver. Hopkins, this is the year of the Olympic tryouts. That means intercity competitions. Three meter springboards. That means platforms. You can dive okay, kid, but as I recall, you have a height problem? No, no, I don't. Okay, why don't you crawl up on the three meter board and give us a little forward two and a half pike? Clear the diving area, please. Clear the diving area. Jerome, step aside, son. Okay, Mr. Hopkins, let her rip.
Coach is yelling for us. We're supposed to be swimming the backstroke. Look, I'm a diver, okay? I know. You coming? No. I'm not. Jeez. Jerome! God, don't you just hate that guy? If you're good, you're good. Of course I hate him. And I hate the backstroke. Hey, I hate the backstroke. I hate swimming. I mean, what am I doing here? <laughs> Why do I get dressed? Why do I eat? Why do I suck in air? <laughs> Why do I hang out with him? <sighs> All right, girls, out of the pool, go. Tonight, too? Three or four or five or six. No kidding. Hmm. Who'd you go out with? Nobody you know. Terry. <laughs> I'll sneak these across tomorrow, okay? Where'd you go? I went to the drive-in. <laughs> what a shock. I saw this movie called Flasher in the Locker Room, starring Wayne W. Hopkins. <laughs> Great. Does that mean this is all over school now? At least I won't have any trouble finding you a date. <laughs> yeah. This is a school night. Mom, I've been here all night. Oh. Then why aren't you in bed? Uh, well, we've been talking, you know. I know a lot more than you think I do. It's time for you to get to bed. I was just going. Then go. Fine. Fine. You know, Wayne, this is going to be a very important year for you. I know, Mom. I know. I'll do fine. I uh, only hope that Terry can she apply will. herself. She will. Don't worry. You guys just push each other's buttons so much. I don't push her buttons. I'm just trying to help her. Uh, I know. I just hate being in the middle of this. You're right. Good night. Just fine. 
Thank you, Mr. Mark, for your concern. Now, the third dive for the defending state champion, Jerome Coulter of Prescott High. It must be tough going with your life so perfect. What's with you? Can you sit down? I was just wondering if you were busy Friday night, you know, for old time's sake. You're not doing anything. So you finally made up your mind. I can't believe that I tied you. What? My timing was off. Hey, Hans. <laughs> got a hot date Friday night. <laughs> He's such a dick. Totally. But he is the one bagging all the babes, you know. Bryce, don't you think that there's more than that? Oh, love, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> for sure. But I gotta tell you, man, I'd settle for raw sex in a heartbeat. Uh, I'm not settling for the backstroke. See ya. Hello, too, Lansky. What's really bothering you? He's very good, Jeff. Jerome doesn't need any special help from me. Don't put me on this, will you? You could be hurting your kid's career. That's bullshit. I know what it takes to be a champion. I've been through this. Jerome needs honest judging to prep him for the Olympic trials. Oh, big medal winner, huh? Well, look, we do things a little different over here. Your job is to teach girls swimming and underdiving, Coach, and I think perhaps you have a little problem with that, don't you? Oh, Coach, you are so insightful. Try not loud. You know, I came over here to be nice, you know? Uh, Oh, please, why, stop screwing around with me. Coach, what is it now, Hopkins? I want to die for this team. I can win the one-meter event. No one gives a rat's ass about a low board, kid. Nobody? Yeah, that's right. I need Olympic potential divers. It takes uh, uh, real balls to dive the platform. Is that so? Yeah, that's so. Ten meters, three stories high. You hit the water at 30 miles an hour. The way this kid choked the other day, He'd probably drown before someone could get him out. And I'm not going to be responsible for that. Why don't you let him work out with a team? The kid has potential. Who knows? I know, goddammit! I'm his coach! If the kid ain't satisfied with backstroke, let him take up ping pong! Don't worry. Don't worry about him. If you want, you can come out and work out with my swim class. At least you can keep using the board. I'm not working out with the girls. Okay, suit yourself. But I could give you some good pointers. Be laughed out of school. Get out of here. 
crazy coach. How's it hanging? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you guys take off? I'll catch up to you later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. The guys were just having a bit of fun. Why are you so freaked? Why didn't you stick up for me? I did. I got rid of them, didn't I? Some cheap joke. Oh, give me a break. Wait! It's not true! I don't understand this. We went together for six months. You say you weren't gonna come around unless you were gonna put out for me like you have for all those other guys. What other guys? Look, we had a deal. You've blown it. Is that all you ever think about is sex? Sex? The fact is, Terry, I got girls crawling all over me. I don't need this shit. Man, another Friday night spent bowling. I can't deal with it. Well, look, it's better than going blind. You know what? That would be a good thing. Watch this one did that, you know? Hot! Hot in my spot! Move the car. Well, better luck next time. No, I don't think so. This spot's reserved. Didn't you read the sign? Whoa! <laughs> Uh-oh. Hopkins, don't you be dicking me around like your sister. What? If you don't move your car, I'm gonna have to give you a very big parking ticket. Look, guys, just chill out, all right? Yeah, let's go bowling. <laughs> yeah, hey. let's bowl. Okay, let's hey. go bowling. You boys think your balls are big enough to play this Give game? me the ball. <laughs> no, they're not big enough. No. Come on, give it back. Give it back. Look, all right, okay, I'll move it, okay? I'll move the car. It's too late, Hopkins. He's gonna move the car. I said I'll move it. Shall I? Have a nice day.
you go looking for trouble, you are going to find it. I promise. They busted up my car. What am I supposed to do? Walk away? All right, fine, Mike Tyson. Get all hormonal and everything on me. Just remember all the prize five is loaded up with jello for brains? Thank you. That makes me feel better. Check it out. Here's a couple new pledges. Hey, man. You want to try out for the challenge? You owe me 223 bucks, and I want it. I never touched your windshield. I cannot tell a lie. I am the one who smashed your windshield. <laughs> right, I bet he thought it up all by himself, too. And I think he just insulted you, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> we'll settle this in the gym tomorrow. But what's that going to prove? Well, for one, if you don't show up, it's going to prove to the whole school that you're a king asshole. <laughs> oh, you screwed up, Popkin. I can't even say you now. Either. Dun, dun, dun. dun. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me, I think your boss is a pompous ass. Well, he's just my boss, and that's the way it is, you know? You guys were kissing his butt. We were not kissing his butt. We just want the man to like him. And now that we want to be liked, all of a sudden you find something unholy in it. Why do you always know what I see? Dad? No, you're not. I don't see why... How do you know when it's time to take a stand on something? Yeah, you gotta stand up for anything you believe in. I, I know, but... I mean, what if it's like a, a fight situation, you know? And I'm... And they're bigger than you. No, it's different. So, Dad, what am I supposed to do? I mean, do I just let them roll all over me, or...? Listen, sometimes you take a stand, sometimes you walk away. I mean, come on, use your brain, figure out the odds. It's gotten into that girl. See, Wayne, life is not only about confrontation. I mean, try and win these guys over. Make them your friends. Have a party or something. Thanks, Dad. Why so upset, Terry? Our family was so goddamn predictable. Oh, I don't know. Dad just told me to throw a wild party. Yeah? Well, Mom thinks her daughter's throwing everyone a wild party. Well, Terry, why don't you do something to try to change their impression? Why not try to change the faces on Mount Rushmore? So what are you going to do about your car window? Do? What can I do? 223 bucks. 200? Let me see that. Start rotating. Use the tip of your fingers. Yeah, slow movement. Hi, Terry. Yeah, that's it. Now rotate. You leave my brother out of this. That's easy. This is between you and me. There is no more you and me. Remember? Jerome, back to work. You pay to have his window fixed. Did Wayne send you here? Hey, look, you have no business being here. A place like the kids drunk. $223.47. Oh, man. The guy sends his sister. <laughs> it's not fair. Take her out of here, please. Let's go. Come on. No. No. Just keep her away from my athletes, huh? Back to work. Back to work. I think you can see that oppression is universal. I mean, the fact that even here at Prescott, I mean, some of our basic constitutional rights are put into question. And when they tell us that what well, we can and cannot print in our own school newspaper. All right. Wait. Wait. Could you please come here for a second? Wait. Did you ever think about running for student council? No. You're bright. You're sensitive. You'd make a good leader. Thanks. Um, I have to no, go. No, no, no. You stay.
Stay with me. Have lunch. Thank you. You know, it's good to challenge yourself, even if it's hard. Miss Lasky, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm it's late okay. for something. I'm fine. You look like you might have a fever. Thanks. Maybe you should see the nurse. Probably gonna need a doctor. <laughs> Oh, shit. I didn't think you'd show up. Where's Jerome? He doesn't need to be here, man. I'm the one that's gonna break your teeth. You ready? Break it up, here. I think you're a little late. Don't be a wise ass, Terry. I'm betting you're somehow responsible. Hopkins, you know the rules. No fighting on school grounds. Let's go, mister. You got an appointment with the principal. You know, the flu is a good idea. Nobody listens to me. You know, I gotta come up with all the ideas. Why? Well, shut up! Okay. I couldn't go home and I had nowhere else to go. How did you know where I lived? Call Chuck's chicken, we deliver. Sure. Did you call your parents? Uh, yeah, I told them I was staying at a friend's house. If my mom saw me like this, she'd flip out. What happened to you? Well, I took your advice and challenged myself. Doesn't look too good. I'll be okay. What can I do to help? Miss Lansky, I want to dive. And I want to be the best. Will you coach me? I'm not a diving coach. But you're a diver. You're an Olympic diver. Was. I need help. You can help me. Please. Great! Great. I got stuff in the car. No? Yeah, it's okay. What do you think? You know, you're very good on a low board. But it's on a three-meter springboard and the platforms where you're going to have to compete. I know. The coach is right. I am afraid of heights. I have nightmares. That was terrific. You know, a person can get used to do anything. What's so great about the platforms, anyway? The added height. It lets you be more aware of where you're going and how you're executing the dive. It can be dangerous. But it gives you such a sense of power. It's wonderful. Okay, if I did this, how soon would I have to face it? The university platform comes right after the city springboard finals. The top five divers will go, and you'll be up against the best in the state. And then? 
And then? You eat, breathe, and sleep on that platform until the Olympic trials. And nothing else. Is it all right if I stay here tonight and keep practicing? I should go home. You start training tomorrow. You better get some rest. That'd probably help. Good night, Wayne. Good night. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. It's tough, but I got it. There you go. Yeah, not bad. Let's go, Hopkins. Go Wait away, three times over. Yeah. Boy, watch me, guys. This smells pretty good, though. A little more luck. Come on, guys. Sorry, yeah, hold, sorry. hold it. There we go. Okay, Jerome, let's go, buddy. What? I've got the sinking feeling Jerome Coulter is going to be in our lives forever. I can't believe it. He's the only one running. No, he's not. Who else? Wayne W. Hopkins is. Let's give him a hand. Sure, you're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. Yeah, you are kidding. You gotta be kidding. Terry, I can't run for president. There's no way. Terry. Terry, what are you trying to do to me? I only signed you up. You don't have to campaign if you don't want to. How can I beat Jerome? I'm just gonna make a fool out of myself. I can help you. I can think of rallies and things. I can't make speeches. Fine, give up. I don't care. Hey, Terry, look. Terry, I just want to get through high school in my own quiet way, all right? What is so wrong with that? Wayne, we are like open boxes of candy sitting on a shelf. And every time somebody walks by, they want to grab some. So pretty soon, we're not going to have anything left for us until we learn how to close the damn lid. Terry. What? What was that? I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm sick. I'm trying to fix myself, so I'm working on you for a while. Don't run. It doesn't matter. Well, it's only smart to compete at things you're good at, right? That's why we're always trying to find things that we're lousy at. So we don't have to compete. It's hereditary. Well, what would I have to do? I don't know. Uh, meet people. Sell yourself. Campaign. Throw a party? Yeah, throw a party. <laughs> All right, we'll have a party.
What are you doing here? Well, I wasn't going to come, but uh, the guys, you know. Will you lose a button? No, Wayne's going to catch hell. Not that bad. messed up inside you and i are well screwed up and i i miss you i miss you you want to call a truce why don't you come to a talents party with me marlon's house hmm? i can't hey man you ready let's roll <laughs> okay wait I i'll come Mrs. Hopkins, how are you? What happened to my house? Uh, tornado. Flood. Really big guy came by, sneezed. It's horrible. You should have seen it. Oof, mess. You know what it could have been? This place could have been like an African rainforest or something. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Things got a little out of hand. A little out of hand? You call this a little out of hand? Have you lost your mind, Wayne? Hey, your friends drink imported beer. I can't afford imported beer. Who's responsible for this, Wayne? Talon's crashed the party. Well, why didn't they just use a bulldozer? You mean you know the boys who did this? Yes. Well, why didn't you just have them light the place with a match, Wayne? At least that way I could have it paid for with insurance. Laura, get out of the way. This is vandalism. We have to call the police. <laughs> Tell them what? That our son uh, throws these wild, unsupervised parties? Terrific. Where's Terry? I don't know. Well, this is great. Just great. <laughs> Wayne for president? What a joke. Jim, wait. be good. I don't like spending Sunday nights at school. Me neither. I gotta start somewhere. I'm sorry about your party last night. That stuff is just gonna keep on happening until I can get up there and dive. 
Where do I start? This highboard is not too bad when you think about it. Why don't you sleep on it? <sighs> I've been thinking about it forever. I've got to do it. You sleep on it. Too high, Frank. Okay, check right. it. Okay, I'll check it. Ah! What the hell are you doing up there, kid? I think she was right. What, are you crazy? I dove off the premier board. No way! That's great! Congratulations. If I could just get back in the diving pool, you could break Jerome's legs. <laughs> that would work. Oh, man. You know what? If Lansky was the coach, she'd be in in a heartbeat. She can't. She's a judge. Hey. No. See ya. Hi. Aren't you a cheerleader? What's your name? Don't you do the pyramid at all? I get yeah, man, your sister's a total babe. You guys just don't know where to stop, dude. Yeah, neither does Terry. But, but she, she sure does, does photograph well. <laughs> oh, he doesn't know. Know what, guys? Man, she was trash. She was the life of the park. Right. Take a look. Photographic proof, dude. Adios. I have to talk to Terry. Go Black make your speech. Treat, I don't want to talk. Look, I'll be back and we will talk, okay? Oh, well, I hope that's not too high for you, Hawkins. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't look down. <laughs> As I was saying, I'm already a good leader. You don't get to be a diving team captain by being a wimp. Yeah! But what I feel I can bring to the student council this year is integrity. Pride. A vote for me is knowing that you are voting for a hard-working, honest winner! Yeah! If you think you're so full of honesty and integrity, then why are you trying to ruin my life? Why don't you, you tell everybody here the truth? Why don't you tell them that it really didn't happen at the Talents party? What a bimbo. Ah, yeah, you got that one right. You had a lot to drink that night, Terry. The picture is pretty clear. Oh, oh, stop! Yeah. Yeah. Stop, all right? Come on, boys. If you've got something to say, say to them. They came to hear you speak. All right. Look, yeah, he's the captain of the dive team, but he's not a leader. A leader doesn't lie. 
A leader doesn't hurt people to get what he wants. He's just going to stand up here and say everything that he thinks you want to hear. He's full of shit, and you know it. Terry! Yeah, so suck it up, fat boy. Okay, okay. Wait, should I get help? No! Are you all right? What am I doing to myself? What is this? What is this about? How could he let them tell lies about me? Terry knew he was going to do this to you. You knew he was. You set yourself up for it. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I passed out. Passed out? On the couch upstairs. And when, when I woke up, everybody was gone. What's happening to me? I just want to curl up and die. Oh, yes, I do. Shh. <laughs> I think so, Coach. See, I'm the newest member of your diving team. Oh, I yeah, right. The kid needs psychiatric help. Come on. I should give ah! it See, the thing is, I got this personal coach, right? Amanda Lansky. And she's coaching a diver. She can't very well be a judge, too, can she? Are you going to go for this? That's true, kid. That would disqualify her as a judge, wouldn't it? Hey, Hopkins, man, you don't even want to be in the water with me. Be ready for the springboards in three weeks. I'll be ready. Bullshit! You know what else? I think I'm going to dive platform, too. What do you think? I think you do need psychiatric help. There's no way! That's it for today. Hit the showers. 8 a.m. tomorrow. Nobody late. That was good. We have two Since weeks. Nice to to I want you to watch me. Check it out, it's Lance. Check it out. Nice one. You see, it's all in takeoff. But tomorrow we start finding the dies in order. From pawn three first, then the optional. Two of each and cycle. And if you botch one, you do it again, okay? Okay. I'll work at home too. No, you sleep at home. Fatigue makes timing worse, not better. All right? Okay. Come on. This charade of yours with Hopkins has gone far enough. Get out! My other divers are starting to be effective. I didn't think you had any other divers besides your own. I am the diving coach. When someone asks me, begs me to coach them because you want, I'm not going to say no. It's a duty of the coach not to get involved. 
How dare you? I am here because of your failure. You stripped this kid of any self-confidence he might have had. You failed as a coach. Sure. Sure, I'm a failure. Okay. We'll see. We'll see when Jerome takes the platform championship and you and Hopkins don't even qualify. We'll see who's a failure. You make me sick. I make you sick. And don't count on us not being there. Yeah. And, and you, don't come and use my pool when I'm coaching. So what do you want to start with today? Let's loosen up before we start. I know, Mom. I mean, don't you think you could come in for maybe a little rest? I'm fine. And the regionals are tomorrow. Doesn't that give you a headache? No. I'm trying to get a good press on the board so I can really L5 out of the dive, you know? Oh, I see. Night, Mom. Two and a half with a full twist, degree of difficulty 2.8. Yeah. Scores nine, eight and one half, and nine. Mike Evans, Pike High, a backward two and a half somersault, tuck, degree of difficulty 2.8. and one half and six. Next up, George Kelly, Decatur High. <laughs> Scores 
seven, six and one half, and seven and one half. Next up, Wayne Hopkins, Prescott High. A reverse two and a half somersault, tuck, degree of difficulty, 2.8. Scores seven, six and one half, and seven and one half. Next up, Ray Bennington, Decatur High School. Scores seven, seven and a half, seven. Now, Jerome Coulter, back one and a half somersault with two and a half twist, three position, degree of difficulty, 2.9. So you don't get hung up and take a good look at the water, okay? Wayne Hopkins, yeah. Prescott High. A forward two and a half somersault with one twist, free position. Degree of difficulty, 2.8. Here it is, folks, and remember, the top five finalists today will all be invited to the platform qualifying competition for Olympic trials. That's in three weeks. First place, Jerome Coulter, Prescott High. Second place, George Kelly, Decatur. Third place, Zach Robinson, Pike High. Fourth place, Ray Bennington, Decatur. Fifth place, Wayne Hopkins, Prescott High. Congratulations, boys. Good luck on the platform. I got it. Wayne. You got lucky on that last dive. Is that right? Wait till you try 10 meter platforms. Halfway up, you're gonna piss in your pants. <laughs> I'm never gonna do it. I wanna see you try. Okay, man. I can't believe I did it. I can. Well, what are we gonna do now? I mean, the platforms are next. We have to do fine. I don't know. It's a long way from three meters to ten meters. Yeah, but it was a long way from one to three. Remember? Yeah. You did everything right up there. I'm very proud of you. This was an amazing day. You play guitar? No, I wish I did. It's my brother's. Can, can I pick it up? Is that all right? Sure, go ahead. I'm real. I'm not very good at all. I'm just, I'm just learning how to play, but I love <laughs> music. It's strange, my, my old coach used to talk about music all the time. In what way? He used to say, Music makes you feel free. Like diving? Yeah. They're both ways of expressing yourself and of being beautiful. You look beautiful right now.
What? What is so funny? I'm crazy. <sighs> well, what do we do now? You should go home now before anything else happens. Why? Why can't anything Please. happen? Oh, I suppose this isn't a social visit. I'm so mad at myself. What's the problem? I've got involved with a diver. Oh. So what I'm coaching. No, that's not a good idea. I know. What am I going to do? No, nothing. Stop coaching him, that's all. No, you're right. But he's so good. And we've come so far. Everything done so badly. Want the old man to bail you out, is that it? It's not easy to coach someone. Okay. What's his problem? Same as it was with me. He's scared of hitting the water. There he comes. I got just the thing. Hey. Is that who I think it is? Wow. Richard Ann, the best in the world. He's the maker of Olympic champions. And that's going to be your coach. What? I can't be your coach anymore. Why? And Richard, he's the best. I'll be there at every session. I don't hey. get this. You're the guy who's scared of the platforms, right? Yes, I am. Do you know why you're so scared? No. Okay. I'm going to give you the old bullet and bucket test. No. It's a live round, right? Is there a hole in the bottom of my bucket? No. Nope. Ah, you know why? It's because the water is so hard that a bullet doesn't have the power to penetrate the bottom. Now, how hard do you think that water's going to feel when you dive in off the top platform? I see. That's your worst nightmare, isn't it? I know. Scared? Really scared? Petrified. That's the line we have to cross, all right? All right, son, you can come down now and go home. All right. Hurry. My towel's all wet. Go for it. I'm coming. Well, you've taken the first step. Now you've got to practice. You stay off that platform, get right up on the high ones, all right? Richard, thank you.
Give me a hand with this. Don't be a dork. <laughs> what is this thing? It's called a scaffolding. Oh. My dad is using it to fix the awning. Uh, why are we moving it? You'll see. Uh -huh. Tell me about Amanda. She's a great coach. Yeah, and? Yeah, what else you want to know? Let's forget mean, it. Forget it. <laughs> forget Tell why? me about uh, Miffy or Muffy or... What about it? Well, how old is she? <laughs> you are hilarious. Hold on, let's get this in the back. Hey, Dad. What the hell are you doing? Platform diving, Dad. Oh, great. We'll just get one big room for the whole family. Where at? Psychiatric ward. <laughs> oh, jeez. I get it. Mr. Hopkins, you kill me. Wait, your dad. <laughs> you can't think and act independently. You must think and act simultaneously. Visualize the dive, every movement, and then the perfect entry. Six? No, I'd say five, five and a half tops. This is an entry as well. Get a good reach on the takeoff. Head in line with your body, sir. And then go into the tuck as soon as you leave the platform. That's the stuff, guys. There's only six more days left. Well, I could think in the morning, so I'm going home. Work on the twists. Arms high, chin up, so you won't walk. Now, one or two more dies, and that's it. And then we're working it. Stay down. He will be all right, but he does need a lot of rest. Now, the doctor phoned these through only if he really needs them. I'll be fine. Thanks. CPR. It's your automatic if you take it. There are a lot of things I don't know about you. A lot of good things. Mom, my eyes are closed. Sonk City. I'll be out in a couple of minutes. You know, Terry, we blame each other for a lot of things. 
and I don't think that's fair. It's not fair to either of us. You have to believe me. I want to help you. It's just that now I'm so afraid. Maybe I'm driving you away from me. I'm here, Mama. I love you, too. Protecting my son. No, Dad. I need the pool, okay? You can't do this. God damn it, Wayne. You almost died last night. I'm not gonna stand around here and watch my kids kill themselves off. You don't understand. I'm too close. Oh, yeah? Well, it's finished. It's over. No more, man. You, you can go back to gymnastics if you want to do something. It's safer. Don't believe this, Dad. You find a side to take a stand on something, and this is it. Uh-huh. Great. Great, thanks. Where are you going? Get back here, Wayne! Just ain't in the cards, kid. Just ain't in the cards. I have to admit, you gave it a great shot. You did. So, come on. I mean, you just burst your head. I mean, I'm, that must hurt like a difference. Lansky should have stopped. Yeah, well, she, uh, she did more than that, right? Hey, Wayne. Let's go. Oh, you guys know each other? Oh, yeah, I think you do. Anthony, what the hell are you doing here? Get me out of my man. The kid's gonna freeze on the platforms, and he's gonna humiliate himself in front of thousands of people. No, I don't think he's gonna freeze or... Humiliate himself? I think he's come a long way since he left you, Mac. Well, frankly, I don't care what you think. Who the hell dusted you off in the first place? There's been a few years there, coach. Well, they dusted me off because you don't know how to train a champion. He's got a shot at being one. Hawkins, you're setting that kid up for a hard fall and never had before. No, maybe, but at least he's getting a chance. Coach. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. We are now ready for the finals of the State Platform Diving Championship. From our initial field of 85 competitors, only these six divers qualified for the final. State Junior Champion Enrico Martinez from Pike High. State AAU Champion Andy Chuda from Lincoln. The surprise champion is the State Championship Wayne Hopkins from Prescott. From Mauer High, last year's runner-up Kevin Johnson. State Springboard Champion David Wackett from Auburn High School. And two-time state champion Jerome Coulter, our current leader with 393 points. Beginning the final round of competition is Wayne Hopkins with a forward layout from the seven-meter platform, degree of difficulty 2.1. still pissed off. He's not here. There's nothing you can do about that. Hold your head. Okay. First place diver, Jerome Coulter, from the seven-meter platform of 5152D. Forward, two and a half, somersault, with one twist, free position, degree of difficulty, 2.8.
four, eight and a half, eight, eight and a half, nine, eight, eight, eight and one half. Next up, Enrico Martinez from the seven meter platform, a one and a half somersault with a two and a half twist in the free position, degree of difficulty 2.8. Awards five, five and one half, six, five and a half, five, six, and five. Wayne! Wayne! Over there, man! Next, Wayne Hopkins from the seven meter platform, a 5136D forward, one and one half somersault with three twists, degree of difficulty 2.8. Wayne? Good luck. Thanks. With a good dive, Hopkins can take the lead in the competition. Six and a half, five and a half, five, six, four and a half, five, five and a half. He falls into third place on that one. Oh, Hopkins had me worried. For a second. Next up is Jerome Coulter, our current leader in the competition. From the 10 meter tower, Jerome has chosen a three and one half somersault pike, degree of difficulty 3.0. at least a 3.3 degree of difficulty factor. Let's just look in the book and find something, and I'm going to do it. It isn't in the book. But you're a gymnast. Give me a uh, seven, two, seven, one. Round off, back to and half, half twist. Yeah. But no one's on this dive in years. No, well, I'll speak to the judges about setting a degree of difficulty. What do you think? Let's do it. Let's do it. Wayne Hopkins in third place with one dive remaining. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final dive of the competition. Let's give all the divers a big hand. Wayne! Hey, Wayne! Wayne! Yeah, hey, I know this means a lot to you. So it means a lot to me. Good luck. Quest for a change in dive. A round off, 72, 71D, three and a half somersault with a half twist. Degree of difficulty, 3.6. This is the first time this difficult round off dive has been attempted in state championship competition.
Wayne Hopkins has taken first place with a total of 102.6 points. It's all I need to get me through 